It's the most wonderful time of the <laughs> the nothing. <laughs> um, uh, hi, everybody. Welcome to another uh, Vlogmas Day uh, here at, uh, at the Radman Galaxy. Um, gonna be doing another uh, countdown video, so let's uh, let's get into it without dilly dallying. Uh, th these are the videos where we kind of look back and do a, a, a retrospective of all the good times we had here at Axel Vlogs. And uh, today we're gonna be looking back at some of the greatest. Also, like we always do. We're going to be looking at some of the not-so-greatest. But I'll be busy talking away in the corner, giving you all vital information about each video. So let's get to it, shall we? Welcome to part two of our retrospective countdown. Hey, but I'm... don't... Uh, film... film me. Over here, I'm over... I got my list right here. That list is... Down to number four, I think. We're doing number four because we skipped ahead. So let's do it. Let's get into the episode on the countdown. Number four, everybody. It's episode 122, early morning on Mackinac Island. And as always, I'll be in the lower corner giving you some live commentary. Ready? Let's start this nonsense. I'm going to put my headphones on. In three, two, one, start. Already. And this is just a peaceful, serene scene. This is just early morning here on Mackinac Island. One of my favorite places in this state. The state of Michigan, folks. One of my favorite places to go. One of my favorite places to relax. My favorite vacation spot in the entire state. And, uh... I think, I, I think my whole purpose of this video was to kind of capture why, and this, literally, I will wake up at, at about, uh, six, six in the morning every time I go on vacation there. I'm, I'm, I'm an early bird there, uh, and I'll walk around, and this is basically a video of me doing that, because I think this is kind of a special time, uh, on the island. No tourists, uh, just some workers riding around, very peaceful. Is this where I get the slug? Is this a slug one? I think so. I think this is where I saw a slug. I saw a slug. And uh, honestly, I, I'm, uh, the slug I'm about to see here, and I'm about to put it on, on camera, uh, was the first slug I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, just out in the wild, up close. I've seen them on TV. I've seen them depicted in the media, you know. And uh, this is my first slug interaction. So let's 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 have a look at this. The slug interaction here, folks, because it's a first. Uh, you, you, you you never forget your first your first slug. Here it is, Slugsworth. Slugsworth. He's after Willy Wonka's formula, but he's a cool guy for the most part. Yeah, those things are weird. They look like aliens, but they're awesome, and I love them, and they're kind of cute. Just look at how nice it is there. You you can hear the birds chirping. You you, you can see there's not a lot of people around. All that gunk on the street you there, that uh, you see you see behind me, all that gunk on the street, that's horse poop. There's no bikes. I mean, there are no cars. There are only bikes, and there are only horse-drawn carriages and buggies. Buggies is a fun word to say. So there's horse poop all in the street, but there's no car traffic. There's no automobiles to worry about. And just look at this. I did a hand movement exactly at the same time I did a hand movement in the video. I don't think I ended up renting bikes from this place, although I wish I had, because the bike that I did rent uh, was uncomfortable and did not allow me to cruise for the entire day, and it was also very expensive. Uh, bike rentals tend to be kind of expensive, Especially if you do overnight, like I tend to do. I, I like to keep the bike for a couple of days. 
really. Um, it's almost smarter to just bring your own bike if you want to go to this Mackinac Island place. And I highly suggest you do if you're a traveling type and want to look for something different and unique. Hit up Mackinac Island in Michigan. It's, it's both of those things. Ooh, the guy behind me on that bike, you can just kind of see him going up. A little fun fact, that's the owner of the hotel that he was driving right next to. He owns the hotel. It's a big hotel to own, too. This is why you know, really, I'm glad I'm going through these kind of episodes, because I'm about to move, I folks. I am moving away from this kind of stuff, yet. and uh, it, it warms my heart to watch it, and it also excites me for the future, because what we got going on, where I'm headed, what we're doing soon... Next year, folks, oh, good gracious, it's going to blow all of this Mackinac stuff out of the water, <laughs> honestly. I, I mean, I love Mackinac. I, I go there every year if I can, but what we're going to head, what, what we're headed towards, folks, it blows Mackinac Island out of the water. So we'll see, we'll see that when that comes around. I'll show you that soon. But I'll always have a special, warm, loving place in my heart for Mackinac Island. It's like a, a second family home. And uh, I, I, I'm glad I got to make a couple of videos this summer uh, for Mackinac this, this uh, past summer. So uh, it captures everything I love about the island, and I get to carry that with me. You know, I get to have that on my channel. <sighs> so soothing, so relaxing. Do I? Am I doing wrap-ups now in this time period of my videos? I'm not sure. I guess we'll see. Uh, as it fades out to blackness, and here I am. Help me! I'm in darkness! What's going on? I'm just lost in the space of nothing! Help me! I'm in my tiny little... My tiny... Oh, I'm back. There you have it. That's Hi, handsome. Island. The place I'm about to walk by right now? That place is the place we stayed at on our second trip to Mackinac. Also, we took video of that. Links down below if you want to watch it, folks. Links in the corner is all that good stuff. As always, thanks for watching this video. Here's the end title card. That was episode 122, Early Morning on Mackinac Island. Coming in at number four on our list of not-so-best stuff. Who boy, it's gonna be rough. We'll head over there in just a second. Okay, everybody, moving on to the not-so-best portion of our show. Uh, we gotta look out, we gotta always look at our, our, our not-so-greatest moments here of the year, and we gotta reflect on that, and, uh, why it wasn't so great. So, 111 episodes in, uh, we get episode number 111. We have editing after I slipped a disc in my back. Let me preface this a little bit, folks. Um, I have a bad sciatic nerve thing going on in my, in my lower vertebrae. Also at that time, right as my back started going out, uh, I had a documentary I was editing, and I was deep into the production of a documentary project um, for my for school. And in three, two, one, play. All right. And it's starting off raining. Perfect. Cheers. And it also oh, looks like I am morning, holding the phone, everybody. I should really turn right this down. Is, uh, <laughs> I got a real tight hat on, everybody. I love that hat, but it does not fit my head very well. I, I still wear it because I love it. It's a, it's a Mackinac Island hat. I'm going to wear it regardless of what's going on. I love it, but it, it definitely is too small for my big ol' head. That's right! This was also right around my birthday. <laughs> my gosh, I... <laughs> I remember my birthday this year because my back was out, folks. I spent my birthday lying in bed with an ice pack on my lower back. Uh, I wanted to go to Dave and Buster's, but couldn't do that. And it, it's true. He, he He's in a lot of pain, but he's still putting every inch of effort into this project, doing everything he can, trying to get it done. Even though he's in an, an insane amount of pain. <laughs> I can attest to that, because that boy me. That boy me. Now watch this. Because you can totally see it in my posture, in the way I'm sitting at a certain point. I become super hunched over. I'm also pretty good. I'm, I'm available for voiceovers, folks. If you want me to 
you know, provide you a voiceover, I can do it. You guys know what kind of voice I got. I got a voice like this. I can do this voice very, not all day. I'm even losing it right now as I'm talking. I have taken vocal classes for this, for specifically for speaking on mic. I know how to read ad copy. I know how to read on-air stuff. I know how to be an on-air personality. I think I I think I'm supposed to host a podcast. I think that's my my my, my life's work, building towards that. And here I am, just doing the work. I am doing the work. I had an entire script of lines to record that day, and I spent probably three three hours in there working on this. So. My back was hurting the entire time. I brought like, I brought some ibuprofen. Try try to relieve the the the, the nerves. Trying to do that kind of stuff, but nothing helped. I still I still have trouble with it, folks. I still go to a chiropractor at least once a month to try to not feel in pain. <laughs> I, I I was distracted because look at how I'm leaning on the uh the table my i got one armed kind of leaning on the table that's because of how bad my back hurts i had to be like this i had to lean to the side and i also walked at a slant for probably a month like i walked like i was slanted like i was a slanty boy every time i have to go away from that hunched over position on on the table and kind of like lean back to talking to the microphone that's causing me a tremendous amount of nerve pain in my back at this time. I'm just I'm just giving you guys some information. Not looking for sympathy because right now, look at me. I'm perfect. My back I'm a loosey goosey. I go to a chiropractor, I exercise, I'm a healthy boy. I drink water, folks. Being a lazy boy, focusing on school, doing nothing but sitting in class all day, not going out afterwards, not doing any kind of exercising. That's a recipe for a pinched nerve in your back, everybody. So actually, I have had plenty of sciatic nerve pain. It's funny you should ask. If you, anybody out there has had sciatic nerve pain, have had any kind of pinches, uh, I'm gonna give you my recommendation. Number one, talk to a chiropractor. If that freaks you out, it did me. It freaked me out. I was too afraid to go for the longest time. Finally, I got into this position. I went to a chiropractor. I got adjusted. Whew, my goodness, when I walked out of there, I felt like a completely different person. I was upright, temporarily, because it's a, it's a, it's a procedure, you have to keep going in. But I felt like a completely different person. But, yeah, take care of yourselves, everybody. Drink water, drink plenty of water, because if you don't, you'll be like this boy on the screen, completely immobilized by his back. That's not because of the water, though, that's because I just... So many reasons. Oh, good. The old school version of uh, the title card screen, the end title. This was like brief. This was super brief. But yeah, I'm glad I could give you guys a little bit of a rant on what to do if you ever get into a situation like I did where your back goes out on you. It is not good at all. It is terrible. But thanks for watching this, everybody. This was the not-so-great moments of 2017. I'm glad we got to go through it again. It was really eye-opening, and I got to provide you all with useful sciatic nerve information. Thanks, everybody. We'll wrap this up in a second. Well, I hope you're all enjoying this look back at the year 2017 with a little bit of my commentary coming along with it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to click the buttons down below, click the description, look at all the links, you're gonna wanna click them folks, leave a comment, like this video, and subscribe to come back for tomorrow's Vlogmas video, cause you're gonna wanna stick around for that. Santa, you wanna sing us out, friend? He's shy, he's not gonna sing because he's a Pez dispenser, folks. I'll see you guys in the next one, bye!